Radis was born 65 years before the Battle of Yavin in the polar regions of Moncala. Los who hailed from the watery world's darkest and coldest depths were said to have thicker blood than their more colourful tropical neighbours, a rumour Radis was all too happy to let spread. After all, the Mon Calamari's tough upbringing forced him into a pragmatic and brave leader. As a result, Radish joined Mon Cala's planetary defence before becoming the mayor of Nystilum, an underwater city beneath the northern ice flows of the planet. Unfortunately, his reign was cut short by the Galactic Empire's occupation of Mon Cala. Despite their peaceful demeanour, however, the Mon Calamari possessed harsh lessons from the Clone Wars and weren't prepared to sit idly by while their homeworld faced cruel subjugation. The Empire's underestimation of the race proved costly when entire structures, which they mistook for city buildings, launched into the depths of space. The Profundity, under the command of Radis, was one such vessel to escape the Empire's grasp. With that, Radis transitioned from a mayor into an admiral. With a motley fleet consisting of hammerhead corvettes, Dornian gunships, Alderaanian cruisers and Gallifrey resupply transports, and despite primarily focusing their resources on powerful starfighters, the Rebel Alliance gladly accepted the Mon Calamari's unorthodox vessels. In fact, in deep space facilities of the remote Talaris star system, rebels happily converted each transport and passenger liner into deadly capital ships. In his new role, Radis wasn't one to fuel chatter of freedom, justice and other matters of philosophy which drove the alliance into combat. He also grew impatient with the rebel council's attempts at negotiation with the Empire. Radis simply wanted to fight, he wasn't afraid to stare down the might of the Imperial Starfleet. Consequently, he jumped at the opportunity to assist the Rogue One team in their quest to retrieve the Death Star plans, even if it meant almost certain death. Taking a closer look at his clothing and features, Admiral Radis equipped a sealed and coded datapad with mission orders, chromatosphoric skin to act like camouflage, a fleet flagship service uniform jerkin, a civic crest to mark his past role in planetary defence, and dense insulation like flesh to protect ocular circulation. As mentioned earlier, the Profundity was the civic government tower of Nystilum, before becoming one of the first war converted cruisers ready for combat. As a result, much of the crew consisted of the city's defence staff, including Mon Calamari aides Katekin and Sholin, who would perform any task for their former mayor with bustling efficiency. The Profundity's former life was quickly disremembered. For example, what was once an enormous civic atrium in the vessel's hull was hollowed out and converted into a docking bay and starship service area, which were managed by service lifts. The massive void did become a vulnerable area in the profundity structure. However, a magnetic containment field maintained oxygen and pressure in the hollow, while overlapping deflector shields resisted enemy fire. Another notable aesthetic of the profundity was its blade-like fins, which extended from the tapered hull. They served two purposes. Firstly, the deliberate design choice was meant to trigger deeply coded fears of predatory fish in Mon Calamari. And secondly, the dorsal mast housed sensors and transmission towers, alerting Admiral Radis to the ever swaying tides of battle. At a height of 435.56 metres and a length of 1204.44 metres, the profundity was massive. Furthermore, it possessed 20 point defence laser cannons, 12 broadside turbo laser cannons, 4 heavy ion cannons, 12 proton torpedo launchers, and 6 tractor beam projectors. However, that is simply scratching the surface when it comes to the capital ship's features, as the profundity utilised a heat dissipating engineering structure, an armoured collar which held primary weapons and shield generators, an ordnance pod, 
an armoured outrigger fin to hold the command bridge and receiver array, a hangar traffic control suite, a tractor beam projector port, an armoured forward hull that concealed redundant deflector shield projectors, an engineering plane with sublight drive shroud, and 12 repurposed Kuwait drive yards, Gemin 15 sublight ion thrusters. Now it's time for this week's question. Which Mon Calamari Admiral do you prefer, Akbar or Radis? Let me know in the comments below. Also, to have your say in future Rogue One lore videos, head on over to thecankazans.com and get voting. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars related content, keep a lock here. To the Kangazans! All terrain armoured cargo transports or AT-ACT walkers for short, or colossal imperial machines. At 31.85 meters in height and 34.9 meters in length, they towered over traditional AT-80s, giving them a faster stride.